Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how income works. In this video, I will be outlining this chart that I created, and I like to call this the people and problem chart. Now this chart basically shows you how income works, and it gives you a visual representation of how income works. So right here at the bottom, we have the money line, okay, right here. This represents the amount of money that you are earning. I just put some rough numbers here just for the, for the sake of argument. I have one dollar and one billion dollars. So obviously this end of the line is the lowest and this end of the line is the highest. Now this line right here represents the people and problem line. Okay, so on the bottom of of, of this line right here. This represents uh, the lowest amount of people or the lowest problem, the easiest problem that can be solved. Up here represents the most people and the hardest problem to solve. All right, so basically if you look at this, if you, um, anything that is going to earn you a low income, there is going to be, there are going to be many people that are willing to do that job okay and the problem is going to be very easy to solve now if you have a decent amount of people that are willing to do that job and the problem is also decently hard decently difficult to solve you will be making sort of average income and if you want to make high income you need uh, a situation where there are very few people that are willing to do the job or to do it and it actually solves a really really difficult problem so that's basically how income works okay so as you can see um, people and problem work in the opposite way they have an inverse relationship okay so once again uh, low income opportunities have many people that are want that are available to do the job and many people that want to do the job but the problem that the job solves is very, very simple. Um, it, you know, it's the simplest form of a problem, very easy to solve, okay? If you go here in the middle, this is the average. You have a decent amount of, of uh, people that are willing to do it, and the problem is decently hard to solve. And then if you want to earn um, a massive income, or I should say the highest income, then basically, um, you need a very, very hard problem to solve and very, very few people that are willing to do it or very few people that are able to solve the problem. This is basically how income works. Once again, as you can see, the people and problem line has lowest and highest and the money line, I just, just for argument's sake, I put $1 to $1 billion, okay? But basically, if you want to earn more income, the best thing that you can do is find a job or an opportunity um, in which few people, or I should say fewer people, are willing to do it or can do it, and the problem is a little bit harder than average to solve. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how income works. And I have used this very, very simple people and problem chart. I've created this chart just to demonstrate and, and talk about the way that income works and the way that people and problem have an inverse relationship with each other. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.